Hello my friends, this is Regular Slasher and thank you for watching my videos as usual. People have been asking me recently if you are serious about your swordsmanship path and purpose. Yes, let me repeat that. People have been asking me if you are serious about your swordsmanship it's like you're being serious about it you're passionate about it you eat drink and breathe kenjutsu swordsmanship even the japanese culture although personally to me the japanese culture learning it thereof it's a bonus and in fact it gives you an edge or let's say that if you learn the usage of this weapon it also means that you are familiar with their culture vice versa even if you don't actually use it for hardcore or seriousness any degree of familiarity is really appreciated yeah. however for those practitioners of kenjutsu iaido kendo or whatnot and they want to take it to the next level you might want to watch this entire video because these might be the things that you didn't re you don't really expect to hear especially that you are a m member of a formal organization and then you had a tendency to follow what is being taught to you i mean for me it's not really bad if you take down that route but I recommend that you listen to this video so that you have more knowledge actually in fact you get more points or hints in how to start your actual improvement of the swordsmanship concretely for example you've been practicing your sword techniques week after week after week but it seems in your mind that you are not going anywhere your progress is still the same and even if other people are telling you that you you've been improving but to you it's like something is missing okay what could that be one hint is that there could be possibilities that your body part or your muscle parts that you've been recruiting in swinging that sword has been aching literally or your body needs to take a rest but you don't um, people don't really take heed of it they just continue out of their ego and whatnot and they just want to impress everybody else not knowing that they still could use some rest just do it a day or two or a weekend or two do something else that favors you or that you're passionate about um, there is this phenomenon called the plateau the development plateau that it's like a mountain but the top of the mountain is just the same level everywhere you go you don't go up so that's called the plateau and in terms of development particularly in this kenjutsu development um, I think it is still a pick up all yeah. so aside from that when you have to be aware of your situation like logistics like what's your surroundings like support system whether if it's from parents or from your co-workers or from your spouse or your children um, if they are giving you support that is not really all out it may affect your growth in your kenjutsu let me give you a situation where you tried to share what you have learned about 
um, the usage of quality time as you have just learned in your let's say podcast right that you have learned that regarding time there are two kinds of time right the first is a dead time where the dead time is usually spent for video games social media and sleeping excessively or etc etc while the alive time is actually spent for you to practice or learn new skill so in short the dead time is totally dead because you are not productive you're just playing video games you're sleeping excessively and anything else while the alive time is a time that is spent for learning new stuff and then that's actually beneficial because even after your productive rest oh yes we know that there's no luxury of time but because i spent this time on reading a book i learned new things let's say you try to tell that your friend and then oh friend there's these two kinds of time the 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 dead time the alive time man i learned from this wonderful book that even in prison you can also have an alive time don't you know that and then expecting this positive feeling from your friend but instead your friend goes like so why you want to go to prison too of course the feeling that you heard such words it's like a bucket full of ice cold water splashed into your face and then you won't have already face on continuing such a conversation long story short is that that is one way for you to know whether your support system is really considered as a support system not just there your friends are just not there for the sake of being there in fact i've said this before and i will say this again that the main job of a friend is to uplift you all right and then regarding to this context of you wanting to be serious about your kenjutsu um improvement you want to be aware situationally not just literally but for your support system especially from your friends all right yeah. one more point is that you need to acknowledge that you are the only best friend your worst enemy and your own teacher yeah let me repeat that you are your own best friend your own worst enemy and your best teacher yeah let me tell you why even if you've heard a lot from your senpai or your sensei it's still up to you on how to on how to improve for example in the kendo context where you need to raise your both of your hands and strike at the right moment and then twist your waist and then twist your waist as soon as your target uh, as your sword meets a target whatever technique that is but yeah even if they tell you repeatedly to do that like the twisting uh, hitting the target and twisting your waist you won't be able to get that unless you do it that movement yourself because true learning comes from a visceral approach not just from the external point of view even if your teachers are telling you repeatedly in the end you are still the one who is doing the work it's like I, i've heard this so many times that uh, from um physical trainer personal trainer that you know your fat won't get lost by itself you know <laughs> yeah seriously though 
is the next. If you are serious about your Kenjutsu improvement, the moves that you see on social media are probably there to impress others and not really for their own personal improvement, okay? So that is really a very serious trap even if you're you're considered already popular but your moves your techniques keep on stagnating um, I don't think it's a good idea to continue that um, you still need to ask yourself constantly if, am I doing this am I doing this like you're never contented I think that's the antidote of being addicted to social media praise and positive words deserving or undeserving um, the antidote of that is to ask yourself constantly that am I improving on this my movement is still the same but I'm sure I could produce more intensity using this I mean how do I get this do I need to improve my core core strength or whatever there are lots of hints the moment you ask yourself that question let me repeat if you ask this question like how do I improve myself the movement that I just pulled last week it seems to me that there's the si it's still the same thing and it's not improving how could I improve it the moment you ask such questions I think that's the best opportunity for you to improve the point is that you are never contented yeah. I know that this video is getting longer but I hope that you have learned a lot as much as I did um, if you have any questions or comments don't hesitate to write some comments down below and I'm sure that there will be healthy dialogues that I could expect out of this yeah that's it my friends and if you like what you just saw don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and especially if you click the notification bell you'll be the very first person to know that I've uploaded some new content from me to you so that hopefully the information there can help you whatever your needs man and the content from me to you that's for you in the future yeah this is regular slasher signing off thank you much love and domo arigato gozaimashita yeah and